I'm an associate professor in the computer science, and uh, I work in data mining and machine learning. So I'm going to tell you some of our, our efforts on extracting knowledge from data. So at age of uh, IoT, a successful data analytics application would require us to be able to handle massive and diverse and very complex data at the same time. And we'd like to be able to extract very meaningful information from those seemingly chaotic data. And moreover, we'd like to take those extracted information to generate actionable knowledge so that we can improve upon something. For example, the running route. Take the data and you'd like to improve the running route design to get, uh, make progress. So today I'm going to just briefly walk you through one of those efforts that we, are going, uh, that we have at OSU that encompass some of those different aspects. This is a collective effort uh, that's in collaboration with ecologists. We placed a network of microphones. That's, that's the microphone that we placed in the forest. The forest is in the experimental forest of OSU in the Cascade Ranch. And this forest is also, it's like a play park for all the scientists at OSU. It's heavily instrumented with all kinds of sensors and uh, devices. There is temperature sensors, rain gauges, and there is even low-tech things like insect traps. So with this kind of diverse set of data, what we want to get is uh, what's on the far left, uh, ecologically meaningful information. Specifically, we're interested in birds. We like to get information about birds. And uh, here, what I'm showing is a species distribution map of birds. And that's what we want to get out of the acoustic data we're collecting in the forest. We like to know what species of birds are where and when. And moreover, we like to know how many birds of that species is there. And we'd like to get this with a very high temporal and spatial resolution. With that kind of information, working with our scientists collaborators, we then go back to all the other data that's collected in the forest, try to interpret the information that we've got, and to generate knowledge to tell us how different factors are driving the behavior of the birds. And this will allow us then feed back into the forest to help improve the policies that we're making in terms of managing the forest and even collecting the data uh, to help with the scientific discovery process. So to build this loop, it turns out that it's not a straightforward just putting all the experts together and um, apply the state of art signal processing and machine learning to the problem. And there's a lot of challenges that we have to deal with. And here are some, just a short list. So we all know this, must, this is a very noisy environment, and the recording device is, is not a high-tech, very high-fidelity microphone, uh, directional microphones. So it's very high sig uh, low signal-to-noise ratio. And also birds, they don't take turns like us. They sing on top of each other. So we have to figure out you know, which one is which and when they mix together and separate them. So th those will require us to make breakthroughs in signal processing to handle them properly. And also, the birds, they don't, they don't stay around. They, they don't have a fixed residence, so they move around. And you need to be able to detect when there is a rare species that's appearing in your monitoring area, even though you haven't been trained on those. And we're also, we also need to be able to adapt to new environment. And this summer, so for the past six summers, we've been collecting data from the, we're monitoring Oregon forest. Now this summer, we're moving to Costa Rica, starting a new monitoring site. And we're going to be dealing with new environmental noise and new set of species. We don't want to forget about all the things that we've learned in Oregon. We like to be able to build up our system incrementally and gracefully adapt to this new environment. So uh, current machine learning, state of art, does not have the capability to actually allow us to do this adaptively. And we need to develop a new technology for that. And I just want to tie it back to the Internet of Things. We're also developing, developing a, a mobile app that allows day-to-day -day users take your cell phone and then record what you hear on your way to work or in your backyard, and then upload to our, sense, uh, to our server, and then we will return to you what kind of species that is. And that will enable you, as a regular scientist, a uh, citizen scientist, to actually contribute to our efforts as well.